And if they do bring this feature, it's gonna put cryptocurrency and blockchain in front of tens of millions of new potential customers and users, which is something we all definitely need in the crypto space. What is up, Hatch Nation? Samsung is about to drop their flagship device, the Galaxy S10, at the end of February. And rumor has it that they are building a cryptocurrency wallet into the device. Now today we're talking about whether this is just a rumor or if Samsung is going to put the new cryptocurrency wallet in the hands of tens of millions of new potential users. So without further ado, let's hash it out. As some of you may know, Samsung is releasing their brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 smartphone on February 20th at a special event. And at this time of year, the rumor mill starts to churn about all the different features and things that are gonna come in these new smartphones. And the rumor mill caught on fire when Samsung was seen getting patents on cryptocurrency and blockchain related technology. And to make things even more interesting, leakers have posted photos on Twitter of the Samsung Galaxy S10 with a blockchain private key wallet built into the device. If you look at this tweet, you can see pictures of the rumored application on the Galaxy S10 ahead of its release. You'll see here the main page reads, Samsung Blockchain Key Store is a secure and convenient place for your cryptocurrency. And if you look at this menu option, it says secure and manage your blockchain private key. And then finally, you can see in this image here that the UI is pretty basic and we have a real look at what could be a cryptocurrency hardware wallet for the import and creation of a crypto wallet within the Galaxy S10. Now based on these screenshots you'll see too, we only have Ethereum listed as a supported crypto, uh, which raises more questions really than it does answers. Is this an Ethereum partnership? Is this a partnership with my Ether wallet to bring ERC20 token support over to the Galaxy S10? Or is this even happening at all? Is this just a rumor? Is this fake? Has this been fabricated? It's really hard to say, but I have my own thoughts about what this means for the crypto market and whether or not we're gonna see this at launch on February 20th. But before I give you my thoughts, it is question of the day time. Are you guys Samsung users and are you going to buy the new Samsung Galaxy S10? Let me know in the YouTube poll above whether you are a Samsung fan and you're gonna buy the new phone, whether you're a Samsung fan and you're not buying the new phone, or whether you just dislike Samsung regardless. So let me know above or in the comments below. My thought is this. I think that Samsung is going to release their phone with a cryptocurrency hardware wallet built in, and they're going to target ERC20 tokens and Ethereum-based tokens overall on that hardware wallet itself. Now, why do I think this? There are a few different reasons. First of all, Samsung has in the past been very supportive of innovative technologies. And even though their implementations have not been at the highest quality all the time, they have definitely tried to make use of and take advantage of modern innovative tech trends. For example, in their Bixby voice assistant or smartphone assistant, they used AI and machine learning and publicized that as the backbone for their Bixby smart assistant. And even though Bixby was not the most widely used and widely loved piece of technology that came out in Samsung phones, quite the contrary, it did bring attention to the fact that AI and machine learning did exist. They are used for X, Y, and Z purposes. And people started to understand what the potential use cases are and that this technology is important. Another reason why I think Samsung is gonna bring ERC20 support to their phones is that there are a lot of apps cropping up like Brave Browser that use ERC20 tokens like basic attention token to facilitate transactions. Now, for example, if Samsung did bring a cryptocurrency hardware wallet to their phone, a user could send and also receive basic attention tokens natively with their Brave Browser app. So it's possible, it's very possible that through partnerships with Brave and others that this technology is coming to Samsung phones. To take this one step further, I also think that Samsung is uniquely positioned to release this type of feature on their phones. And the main reason is this, Samsung already has in their high-end phones a secure computing layer called Samsung Knox. And Samsung Knox is a technology that's used in governments and other things to protect sensitive data. And I used to use Samsung Knox to protect you know, personal information like my healthcare apps and other things that I didn't want information to be potentially leaked. It's like a private, more secure platform on which you can use those certain apps. And it sits right below the normal user interface that you see on your phone. Now, beyond that, they have secure hardware and firmware that's built 
for Knox specifically to protect your information and to protect credentials and keys. With this secure hardware, encryption built in, and a secure computing layer, it would make sense that Samsung would try and take advantage of this crypto movement, the blockchain movement, to help bring that feature to their users because they already have the technology built out as it is. All that said, Samsung has patented and implemented technologies that work very similarly to the technology found in Trezor and Ledger and other hardware wallets on the market, where you have a secure chip that holds the private keys, you have firmware that protects those private keys, and it's only accessible by certain applications and connections. For example, let's jump onto the computer and take a look at this documentation. The Samsung Knox Tima Key Store is something that provides a hardware module to store private keys securely, but also to provide firmware that protects those keys from being accessed, and especially from being accessed in the event of the device being compromised, especially in a brute force attack. This type of design, again, is something that really resonates with me is similar to hardware wallets. You have a cold storage element where the keys are stored that's not connected to the internet, that's not accessible manually, but also that can expose those private keys for signing and transactions when needed. Now here's the thing, if Samsung does bring a blockchain or crypto wallet to their phones, but do not take advantage of this hardware, this security hardware that they have and that I know that they have, I will be extremely disappointed. So hopefully if they do bring a crypto wallet to their phone, which I think they will, hopefully they are using a secure module and chipset for the keys and using the Samsung Knox architecture to protect those transactions and keys. Why is this so important? Why are people freaking out? And why does this matter at the end of the day? First of all, Samsung sells their flagship phones to tens of millions of customers every single year. People love Samsung phones and it's really the only competitor that's really making an impact right now against the big Apple. The simple fact is, is that even by putting a feature with blockchain and crypto related technology into their phone, this takes a lot of work to do, mind you. It's bringing legitimacy and bringing more backing to the crypto and blockchain movement. If you think about it, Samsung is not gonna spend the resources and the time to build a feature that they don't think anyone's gonna care about and that anyone's gonna use. They believe that people are gonna want this and they believe that people are gonna use this in the future and not just the long-term future, the short-term as well because the life cycle of a Samsung device is usually only two years. They release something latest and greatest every single year and most people only keep these phones for one to two years. So they think blockchain is relevant now, they think crypto is relevant now, and if they're building this feature, that's a good thing. If Samsung does indeed put this feature in their Galaxy S10, not to mention the millions of people who will see it on their keynote event on February 20th, it will put this technology in people's hands and in front of people's eyes in large volumes. We're talking tens of millions of people globally that will buy this phone and that will use this phone, and even more that will see this technology in a Samsung device. Again, that makes this technology and the cryptocurrency world in general seem like it's more ready for prime time, that big companies like Samsung are taking notice and building these things out. And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking now, well, we can have a crypto wallet on our phones already because we have you know, these different apps on the app stores that we can download and we can store our keys. The difference here is, is that if Samsung does build this wallet out and they do implement it using their secure hardware, it's gonna be more secure and better overall, like a hardware wallet, than just having an app on your phone. Because rather than storing your seed phrase in a text file on your phone, which you should never do, or storing it in a key store vault on your phone storage, which most of these apps do, Samsung can definitely take full advantage of their secure key store environment, their secure chip hardware on the device itself for their crypto wallet that's native to the device. I mean, I'm definitely excited for this to potentially put crypto in front of the mass market and to bring more legitimacy to the movement. But I also want to inject a little bit of caution here. If Samsung does bring this feature and it's just a gimmick and they don't actually build something of value, like I want to see essentially a hardware wallet built into the device. I want cold storage and a hot wallet both in the same environment and I want it to be usable and I want it to be secure. And if they don't deliver that and they don't use the hardware that I know that they have and the patents that I know that they have, then I don't think it's a viable alternative or a reason to buy this phone. And even more so, I would recommend you use third-party wallet applications because they'll be just as good, if not better, if Samsung does not use the technology that they have to secure this feature fully. Long story short, guys, 
I think this Samsung news is positive news. Even though this may not even come to fruition, it's definitely put crypto in the minds of people who are Samsung fans. And beyond that, if they do bring this feature, it's gonna bring a native application, a native crypto wallet to a mobile phone, a smartphone that will help people hopefully get involved in crypto and start to use it more in their day-to-day -day lives because we know adoption is key, usability is key, and I hope, I definitely hope that Samsung can deliver a feature that really makes a difference in this market. I'm curious what you guys think about this. Do you think Samsung's going to release this feature? Do you think it's gonna be valuable to users? Do you think that this is all a farce? Let me know in the comments below because I really wanna know what you think. Your guess is as good as my guess. I'm just sharing with you my opinions and my thoughts based on what I know about Samsung. So what's the bottom line? Overall, this is good news. If Samsung is taking notice of blockchain and cryptocurrency and they're trying to build out features that go into their flagship phones in the future, I'm happy and I think that's positive news. If they don't release this feature, then at least we know it's on their radar because we've seen patent applications being submitted by Samsung. We've seen screenshots of what could be just an internal demonstration of a crypto wallet on Samsung devices. It's hard to say, but it shows that they're paying attention and they're taking notice. And if they do bring this feature, it's gonna put cryptocurrency and blockchain in front of tens of millions of new potential customers and users, which is something we all definitely need in the crypto space. Obviously, we want 20 million new users to jump into crypto and to learn about it and to you know, join this movement overall. But we also need to understand that we want to make sure that it's done right and that a feature is not released that ends up being a complete failure because that could eventually cause more problems than good. The reality is, is that even if Samsung does release this feature, all the 20 million or 30 million people that could potentially buy this device are not gonna just jump in and start dropping mad money into crypto. However, it is going to bring attention to crypto and to blockchain as a legitimate, innovative technology that needs people's attention. Because at the end of the day, guys, this is a long game. We just have to keep building, keep working together, keep educating the community, and eventually, crypto will eventually reach that decentralized mainstream use that we're all hoping for at the end of the day. And guys, don't forget to check out my Token Talk Tuesday series. I will link that here on the screen for you to click. I thank you guys so much for watching my content. I truly appreciate it. Cheers.